so here we have a right angled triangle and it's got an angle theta labelled on the inside. Now if we think about similar triangles, if we had something which had the same angle of theta and the whole triangle got bigger, then the ratio of this side to this side would remain constant. Equally, the ratio of this side to this side would remain constant and so on. Now, I'm going to label the side which is adjacent to this angle as the adjacent side. I'm just going to label that as well, capital A. This side over here, because it's opposite to the angle, is known as the opposite side. And finally, the longest side is what's known as the hypotenuse. And there's a relationship between the ratio of any two sides to this angle theta. And this is where we have things like sine, cos and tan. What we find is that, that sine theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. We have cos theta, and this is a relationship between the adjacent side and hypotenuse. And finally, tan theta. This is a relationship between the opposite side and the adjacent side. And in fact, you'll probably be covering this in GCSE maths, but there's a way to remember this, which is Sokotoa. And what this means is that if you know maybe two of the sides of a right angle triangle, you could work out the angle theta. Or alternatively, if you knew the angle theta and one of the sides, you could then use that to work out the other side and then the final side. So trigonometry, which is involving sine, cos and tan, is a really important skill that you will master as you're doing your GCSEs, and occasionally it might be useful as well for GCSE physics.